Hello and welcome to Calagram Market, our usual show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD INR and I'm starting a little late because I came back around 10, 9.30 to home. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the analysis and look at, you know, first USD INR, then, sorry, first Nifty, then Bank Nifty, then USD INR, option chain, FI data and try to get an information on what the market is likely to do today sorry tomorrow and get a few trades going on you know what to do so today i think it worked well for everybody i didn't i don't think anybody shorted the market in the open people waited it gave a little bit of a bounce then we shorted it gave almost a 100 point move uh, very good outcome great expiry anybody who shorted 16,000 calls 1600 calls etc., made some money people who shorted futures with a tight stop also made money so overall a great day uh, so now comes the tricky part because uh, although, uh, so so it, it's 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 going to be very very tricky uh, because everything depends on what is going to be the weekly closing tomorrow. Because yesterday we had told in our analysis that. We, so we didn't think it will happen, but we said in the unlikely event that Nifty closes below 15,800 kind of levels tomorrow, then um, uh, it will be a shooting star and the week could be negative, but otherwise the week could be positive also. But as of now, when we are speaking, we are finding that this is forming a shooting starish candle. The problem though is, if tomorrow happens to be a green close, let's say around 15,900 or 16,000 level, then this green candle could also become a bullish harami so a close close to the level today it is a uh, shooting star otherwise it's a bullish angle thing so sorry bullish harami so let's see what is the scene right so sgx nifty is almost at 16000 it has sharply recovered 200 points on the bottom like it was around 15 730 and it has gone up 200 points so I'm just saying that, I mean, not that it is the, you know, it is a, a predictive of anything, but let's be prepared for that, right? So tomorrow, if the market, this candle, if it's a green candle tomorrow, you know, the weekly candle, if it becomes green, in the sense that the body you see when you put the weekly time frame, it becomes green instead of red, right? Then we have to reconsider our market view that market is going to go down. Because then it is a bullish a harami and it can be a reversal sign. But if that does not happen, there is a fairly high chance that we can see Nifty going all the way to maybe 15,000 odd levels, right? So this is point number one. Now, oh, whoa, what did I click? Yeah, why did I click this? Okay. Now let us go to the second part, which is an open interest analysis. So today, right, it was actually a mixed bag. People sold a lot of calls, agreed, but they didn't sell too many puts. Uh, they also sold enough puts. So now the overall picture is 16,000 is the resistance, 15,500 is the support, right? And this is a uh, beach may no man's land. I mean, I, I don't think it is going to expire here. It's either going to be this or this. And 16,000 is going to be extremely difficult to cross unless tomorrow there is a weekly close above 16,000 that we'll of course watch so we don't have to predict where it will close tomorrow right but what we should do is if it closes above 16,000 or something tomorrow then we have to consider reducing our short positions and booking some profits because next week it could be a reversal but next week is also the end of month so we should also look at the monthly candle right so monthly candle is a humongous red candle so really really mixed sentiments here on the one hand i'm tempted to say that boss shayad now we should stay short but of course i'll be very happy to short if tomorrow market closes at around 15800 levels but looking at sgx nifty maybe not so anyway that is sgx nifty i mean sgx nifty has proven to be wrong so many times right so option chain and pcr are slightly negative now let's look at fii di data um, FIs have 3 lakh calls, 90,000 puts, I mean 3 lakh puts, 90,000 calls, nothing was just changed. Even this hasn't changed much. You can see that there's massive bearishness. You can see index futures short. You can see stock futures, uh, stocks are short. So everything is largely pointing in the negative direction from an FI data. Bought calls, shorted futures and shorted stocks. 
so my verdict is uh, it's a tough verdict because like see i'll tell you what right what is playing on my head is what is this sgx nifty thing doing right now at 15976 because that's a 200 point bounce that's one percent up more if i hadn't seen that i would have been very happy but i saw that now i can't ignore that i will sell on upticks but i'll watch the weekly candle if it is a harami then uh, i'll book profits on shorts right like i don't want to maybe i'll book some i i mean like it's a very tough call honestly right it's, it's a really tough shot uh, at least some profits on shorts trades are happy to sell calls on upticks if close uh forming a shooting star so a red body will give a, her, a shooting star a uh, green body might give a harami so i'm like very conflicted there even there are green shooting stars but this is a tough tough one honestly guys i mean like really really tough one but on the other hand if next week right it opens below today's close then it is again a easy shorting market but see the thing is this right it has to visit this level it can't like you know aisa itna tadpa ke wapas nahi ja sakta yaar ye kya hai matlab that's not <laughs> nice right so maybe it'll give 1500 right but anyway let's go to bank nifty bank nifty was uh, an easy trade uh below this line it has again gone back below the uh, uh middle of this uh, you know uh trend channel right now if you look at weekly time frame bank nifty is again forming the same thing right this is a uh, shooting star bar harami so if it is below this level i'll short but if it sustains above the so next week my approach will be if this is a shooting star or harami i'm not sure if it's a shooting star or harami now uh, there is a case to be made for both i'm more tempted towards harami because of the sorry shooting star because of the long tail here right because of the long tail i'm tempted towards the shooting star but if it gives a solid green body tomorrow then it will become a harami more of a harami sorts if it forms a harami then i can't be short but if that harami is breached and next week it goes below 33000 then it is definitely a short right very tricky to trade actually but the bearish part comes from the fact that it is below the middle of the channel so please watch 33000 level below 33000 there is significant downside but if it holds above 33400 tomorrow and forms a harami pattern then we have much to think about right uh, at least book some profits on your shorts monthly candle obviously is a big red candle we all know that there's no no surprises there uh, but like if bank nifty is negative it can't be that nifty is positive uh, usd inr has uh, overseas markets may it has fallen off the highs but it's important to note that please keep watch of this channel it is still not completely entered the channel if it enters the channel maybe it will consolidate before one final breakout but right now it is at the top of the channel i would not take any trades on usd inr at this level for the simple reason that niche gaya kafi downside hai lekin upar sustain kar diya to breakout hai so i will wait for one of these things to decisively happen rather than speculate on the possibility of an up move or down move right this is my read on uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, this will Work. This will. I mean that 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 is my read on USD now. Somebody is asking. Okay, Suman is asking a good question. Therefore, I'll give a, an answer, although it is completely off topic. So Suman is asking me, "Ki uh, you have done so much trading and you have worked in many organizations. Why don't you open your hedge fund? You'll be." <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. So no, no, no. So I don't want to do that. I'll tell you a few reasons why. Right. So first of all, uh. the essential choice i had between starting an organization which creates a platform versus starting a, an organization which speculates on money is that the first one is a creative process the second one is a speculative process speculative process are often destructive it's a zero sum game right the second thing of course is if you're doing a speculative business uh, you're not really creating any value and you're only doing one thing so in the in the words of one of my you know ex bosses who was like a really great guy you are ultimately trading is the same deal right it's like playing a sport it's like being a cricketer it's like ultimately every day you come to bat there are different kinds of balls some balls you play some balls you leave some balls are to be played like this some play, balls are to be played like that similarly market throws you a different market scenario every day right and 
yeah, at the end of the day, three years later, you'll realize that you've been doing the same thing again and again and again, over and over again, for every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year of your tra 30 year old trading career and as a lot of people say that once a trader always a trader it's a very difficult industry to get out of right and you will not learn a lot of things like how to create teams how to build organization how to nurture young talent how to be a mentor to several people how to and also you know you, you're creating zero value to the society if you're trading um in case in point being that my my ex boss used to say here there are six people um, sitting and uh, playing cards and sometimes somebody loses sometimes the other person wins uh, uh, once in a while uh, people who are from outside come and play with us but they definitely lose which is retail investors and uh, you know uh, in case all of us lose which is traders then somebody will bail us out and if you do badly in one bank so this is a joke what do you call you know uh, a, a trader who made a lot of losses uh, uh, the next bank trader that is I mean you, you lose money also somebody else will hire you right so uh, it's not a very I mean there are people who genuinely like doing hedge funds and all uh, but you're I mean I realize that it's not what I want to do in life which is why you know this and all that uh, uh, Ajay is asking what's the thought of Vedantu layoff Yaar, I, mean, I don't know I want to comment about company but I, I have to say this right we've been interviewing so many people for so many roles in the last uh, so many months and one of the things which we are realizing is um, like dude like the thing is this right any VC funded company is essentially playing the game in which you know we have got uh, 500 million dollars and we will burn money we have two vacancies but we we don't have time so we'll hire 10 people and therefore we'll two of them will perform we'll fire the other eight right so a company like us for example like sensible which is running on profit uh, we are very uh, careful about who we hire because we don't want to hire people and then fire him right fire them right so we take a lot of time to hire people we are very careful if we have an opening for two people we hire only two people we don't hire like 10 people and think because we are not in a hurry we are here for a long time right i am very sure that i don't want to do something else 10 years from now i'd rather be doing this 15 years from now right and it's a, it's a, we, we want to build a company to last rather than a you know startup to flip to a vc or you know i don't know like get acquired or do some ipo maybe we want to build a sustainable organization right which is, i mean we might not be a large organization uh, we don't want to be extremely large but we want to be extremely uh, uh, long lasting right so but but if we are playing the game then the choice of course is that we have to hire carefully and when you hire carefully your layoffs also become significantly lower but when you are in a hurry you have to hire fast and that's also a very uh, there's nothing wrong about that morally wrong or anything because even people who are applying and joining to these large unicorns who are in a hurry understand that they are playing a VC game. probably they, I hope they understand that they are playing a VC game in which there is a huge hire and fire and people are gambling right so if I had so or let me put it this way right if I had 500 million dollars in my account and a VC is asking me boss become a unicorn in uh, or decacorn in the next two years of course I'll hire 100 people and fire 80 out of it right so it, it's a part of the game I, I, I only wish that people who are going into these kind of companies are aware what they are exactly signing up for if they are not aware what they are signing up for then that is just uh, you know unfortunate right um, yeah but but i think that is what is happening in the startup world again off topic but anyway this is our analysis for today we'll uh, see you again on sunday night a uh, sunday night maybe sunday actually i mean i'm in my hometown on sunday night we might not have it but you know tuesday night we'll be back in full swing um, so uh, Please uh, watch tomorrow's candle, uh, very very important. Tomorrow if you think it's a reversal candle, please uh, get out of your shots. Because see in case, uh, so here's one more last important thing right. Let's say tomorrow is a uh, reversal candle and we thought that you know uh, uh, it is going to reverse and we got out let's say right. And day after tomorrow or Monday let's say market went down again right. Okay, yaar, us time pe fir right? 
like it's okay i mean like but uh, if tomorrow is a reversal signal and we don't get out and if market opens up on monday then we are going to regret it right like you can always re-enter a trade but you can't be stuck in a trade and then lose money which you made right so tomorrow if you think there's a strong reversal candle getting formed or there's a possibility of a reversal or you know um you think that there is a bullish harami it can also be a shooting star so please be careful of that uh, if you think one of those things are forming um, and if you think you are happy about the money you made from you know um, the start then uh, you can book some profits market will give you more chances but don't make a winning trade a losing trade because you want to make more money out of it so my my uh, suggestion would be look at the candle tomorrow if you fear reversal get out of the shorts we'll enter other shorts when the time comes correctly right uh, but if you think it is a shooting star uh, uh, or there's a possibility there's a shooting star you can at least trim some positions right like half the uh, uh, trades you can keep open other half you can close do risk management basically right we've made enough money shorting from 16500 odd levels to 15800 let's let's take take out some and you know chill for a bit right uh, I think more than 6500 right I think we started this uh, short cycle at 17100 odd levels uh, right after the last move so anyway that is our rate for tomorrow uh, uh, I hope you have a great profitable trading day tomorrow um, and uh, till we uh, meet again uh, take care guys and goodbye and good night